Hello everybody, this is Paul Bowman still. And this video that I'm shooting is uh, a thanks to all the fathers out there. Uh, you guys see this today or any other day. Uh, on June 16th, 2013 is Father's Day. So I just want to give a, a shout out to all your fathers out there and to all the uh, guys that uh, taking care of babies and, and stuff, uh, if you're not an actual father or not, just uh, want to say, you know, thank you for service and sacrifice you're doing for uh, helping the baby, helping the baby out and helping the uh, mother out. Uh, this Father's Day actually, uh, 2013, is actually the first Father's Day that uh, I, I, I haven't my father's not around. Uh, you guys all know, last year, July 29th, my father, David Bonus, still uh, passed away very unexpectedly. Uh, he ended up having a pulmonary embolism. A uh, few of them actually hit him. And less than two hours on that Sunday morning, he was gone. And uh, so I, I just want to kind of give a Big thanks to my father for uh, everything he's done for me and my life and my family's life. Uh, my father actually uh, married, you know, when he married my mom, she had two babies. Well, not really babies then, but one was nine, one was four, and pretty much uh, raised them two and me. Uh, because their father was pretty much a deadbeat, just kind of took off and never even talked to the, uh, his kids. So my father had to be the man and 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 step up and raise the uh, my two brothers. And uh, my brothers actually, I mean, they you don't really realize how much you really do appreciate them. Until they actually go on, uh, because you know you just get a normal mundane life and, and everything. You're just used to them being there, helping you. Uh, my father, like like I said, uh, helped raise my two brothers, and uh, yeah, my brothers actually learned a lot about pretty much respect and and. You know, two people, and and actually show love to their children. Uh, if you don't know my brother Brian, he uh, has a little baby girl up up in Jerseyville, and uh, by following my dad's footsteps and all that, he's actually showing his daughter the right ways of doing stuff through respect and love. And uh, everything. So I know that probably don't make any freaking sense to you, but <laughs> uh, so I just want to give a thanks to my brother Brian. Brian, you are a good brother, dude, and we might be fighting at the moment, but uh, I do want to say thank you, dude. Uh, you are actually a really good father. You're raising your daughter the right way. Uh, Unlike most Americans have raised their children, you um, might gripe about, oh, you know, don't have a job or whatnot, but really your job is to take care of your baby. That's why before when me and you got into it, and sorry, it's kind of personal, but when we got into it, I told you, don't worry about us, just worry about your daughter and your family. Uh, we, we were handling and everything, and uh, handling the you know going through the depression and now getting uh, been getting out of it and everything. So just I want to say thank you, dude, for uh, being a good brother, being a good person up there, and uh, and to my other brother James. Um, I want to say thank you to you too. You sacrificed your 
wife to go and work so you can provide stuff for your daughter. Uh, give her stuff that she needed in her life and all that. And <coughs> so, uh, to everybody else out there, take a minute or, you know, today, just go up to your dad and tell him thank you, give him a hug and stuff. And tell him thank you for everything they've done for you, even if you disagree with the stuff they've done, still come up come up there and just, you know, show them love because even if they did the stuff that you don't approve of, they still do love you and still uh, trying to teach you uh, love and respect and all that. And fathers do love their babies no matter if they're gone or not. And if they're gone for 31 years, they're probably thinking back in line every day that Sure, a lot of babies. Or uh, so it's kind of going to uh, deadbeat fathers too out there. Um, there's a lot of people who have them, and they've actually grown up a lot stronger than if their fathers were actually in their lives. So just remember, if the fathers act like a deadbeat or whatnot. The one do not with them. It's sad, but you just have to move on and. Uh, grow up without them, but an appreciation that, just appreciate that at one time they did love your mother, and uh, it's between the, your mother and your father, not between you and your father, and uh, I wish Bob and Debbie fathers were, realize that it's more about their baby and not the wives or ex-girlfriends and whatnot, and uh, try to be there for your fathers, so that's my Father's Day message. Uh, trust me, um, like I said, 30 years I had my father in my life, and uh, pretty much all my life, I mean, he's helped me out and everything on a lot of stuff, and taught me to, taught me a lot of stuff, <laughs> and because uh, he usually took over everything I tried to do, but uh, in hindsight, I didn't think, you know, well, it's, it was actually a learning experience, so, and that's what matters, and, uh, I love my dad dearly, and miss him dearly, and, uh, if you guys don't know the story behind me and my father, say, the last day of my life, of his life, we pretty much got into it for a minute, uh, he was losing his mind a little bit, having, uh, not Alzheimer's, but dementia, I think. And uh, he forgot that he paid the water bill a week, week before. So we kind of got in a little argument. And my mom was chiming in. And so I just got pissed off. And was like, fuck this. I'm done. I can't stand this. I'm going to check myself in the nut house or kill myself. And that was pretty much the last memory I really have of my father. And I regret that every day of me saying that because like I said for 30 years he was there in my life, helped me out, loved me, and everything. And uh, he needed to say that next morning is when he passed away. And uh, <coughs> so it's just, it's, it, it, it's hard on me and it'll always be hard on me, especially on Father's Day, especially being him around for 30 years. And now he's not in physical form, but I know he's around in spiritual form. So, uh, this is a little reminder. Watch what you do say, especially to your parents. Cause you never know if they're going to be, that's going to be the last day of their lives or whatnot. So try to be thankful and loving to the parent, to your parents, to your mom and dad. And even if you're mad or what, you know, pissed off at them or tired of their crap or whatnot, the thing is they do love you no matter what. And uh, so watch what you say. And uh, so uh, in conclusion of this video, I'm just 
want to say a big thank you for all the fathers out there. I'm not a father myself, uh, unfortunately. Uh, I hope to be one day, even if it's a, like a surrogate or, or adopted father or whatnot. Uh, I do hope to be a father, and I know I will be a great father. Uh, so I want to just give a big thanks to all the fathers out there in the world. And uh, you guys are doing an awesome job. And also I want to give a thanks to the mothers out there. Uh, you guys have to pit up with the fathers and the guys in your life. And uh, <laughs> we always have like a big special day in the middle of June for the fathers. And we have like, you know, Mother's Day. And, uh, so I forgot to shoot a video for Mother's Day. So. Happy Mother's Day to mothers too. So, uh, guys, take care. That's all I gotta say is just a big thank you to all the fathers out there. If you're around the child's life or not, uh, try to be nice and respectful to people, your father parents, and uh, because they do respect you and want you you to be the best you can be and they will never stop loving you no matter if you how pissed off you are it's just like that song uh fathers love their children no matter what so remember that you guys take care god bless and we'll be back more